Hi, I'm Kev and welcome to this week's Draw Along. This week, inspired by the comic book club's read Resident Alien and the fact that Star Wars Celebration in London is this weekend, we are going to draw a cartoony version of everyone's favourite alien, Grogu. Okay, let's begin our drawing. So, as usual, we will start drawing with our blue line. And today it's going to be kind of weird shape. So we can do like a kind of circle shape for Grogu's head, kind of triangular shapes for the ears, and kind of a boxy shape for his um, like gown thing he wears. And then we're going to do like kind of egg type shapes for the fingers. Um, to the side, as usual, there is a um, simplified drawing of this image. So for his eyes, I kind of drew circles, then went in and drew um, the shapes of the eyes. And just went in drawing his mouth. Originally, I had the mouth open. And things, um, in the end, I thought it did, did, just didn't look right. The mouth looked too big to be open. And for this, I went for a more cartoony kind of approach. Uh, with this character. I wanted to make Grogu as cute as possible. So yeah, just going in, filling out. So a relatively quick drawing, um, quick sketch at the beginning. Make sure I got those, that reflection in his eyes, those kind of bumps on his head. Make sure that collar's bigger so his head looks smaller. We don't see the other hand because it's kind of hidden in the gown, um, the right hand. Yeah, just fix it, going along, fixing things up as we go. So we just moved the nose up a little bit. I thought the nose was a bit too far down. The nose kind of sits almost like halfway between the eyes. And there we go there, I'm just gonna change the mouth. So he's got a smiley face, but we're only seeing like the, uh, we're not seeing his mouth open. Making sure it's shadowed. There we go. Good thing about drawing Grogu as well, most of him is covered in kind of like, yeah, like I said, that gown, that sort of like burlap sack he kind of wears. So yeah, like I said, with the eyes, there's more of a cartoony approach. I made it look like, like, the cheeks are pushing up, so he looks like he's very smiley. Oh, and there's an advert for the Weekly Planet on my uh, feed there. Going in the eyes, cheeks. Make, make sure everything's kind of right. Add in like curved lines, like zigzaggy lines to imply like that fur lining that he's got on his coat okay as well so with the ears on the inner ear try to use thicker lines for the shape again cut more cartoony i'm going to use uh, i'm going to use a bit kind of a thicker line than i usually would coloring those eyes I was gonna, I was debating keeping them brown and coloring them, coloring them in brown, but I think uh, the black with the big black eyes with the shine and them works works well. Yeah. So, whilst we're drawing Grogu, is anyone watching The Mandalorian at the moment? If you are, please leave your thoughts below um, in the comment section, and I'll uh, try to engage with you there. I've, uh, so far I've been enjoying the series. Yeah, it's been pretty good so far. As of recording this episode though, we were only on four, four episodes, I think. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. By the time this is, this is uh, put on, this, this goes live. 
yeah, my, my thoughts might have changed. Remember the fingernails as well? I'm going to make sure that Grogu's hands were kind of like, uh, like Shrek, green sausage fingers, so. I think I missed a trick as well. I should have had um, Grogu kind of in a swamp trying to lift frogs. I might change, but I might when I, uh, if I go back and work on this drawing in my own time, I might add that in. So now onto the colors. So again, the flats have been done already and I'm just gonna go in and add the highlights and shadow, sorry. I'm not gonna do any blending today. Again, like I said, I wanted to have that cartoony kind of feel to it rather than going in and blending it. So yeah, it's got this more kind of animation uh, feel to the image. I don't know if my mic's picking up, but someone's mowing their lawn. So if you can hear a buzzing in the background, sorry, that's the uh, that's someone's lawn mower going off. Yeah, just getting everything, all those shadows in. On the uh, coat itself, I didn't want to add any like highlights. I didn't think there would be need for any highlights. Again, when we're doing highlights on, on or reflections on things, uh, closed uh, cloth doesn't tend to be a very reflective surface. So we're not going to add any highlights in it because the clothes Grogu's wearing doesn't really reflect anything. The skin, however, does have a bit of a shine. Does have a shine to it. Um, so whenever you're doing highlights and stuff. Yeah, the skin's gonna kind of reflect more light than your clothes are, than the clothes are. And then the eyes, especially, will reflect even more light because they're wet. And um, as we know, water reflects light. Okay, just coming in. Make sure those, those shadows on the cheeks. Uh, make them look as 3D as possible for like maximum cuteness. Make sure, yeah, there's a pinkish hue to the uh, to his ears, so we'll go in and add that kind of pinky color. And we're pretty much coming to the end highlights. There we go. Pretty much coming to the end of this piece now. So, yeah. Um, there we go. We have our finished Grogu. I've just drawn him on a desert background here, but I think I'm going to go back and put him in kind of like a swampy thing instead and have him lifting up frogs as well um yeah if you've drawn along please feel free to send them to me at kev's draw along on instagram or to at the nerd herd comic book club also on instagram if you're going to star wars celebration this weekend um let me know are you excited about it what are you going to any of the talks uh, again leave leave a comment below with that uh that's it for today and until next time keep drawing bye bye